five, four, three. Oh, two, we're live. One. TTS talk. Behind the scenes footage. Chef Manzo. What up? Let's In watch the house. Our, let's watch our curse words here. <laughs> you guys are gonna see us fuck up the intro for uh, TTS talk over That's and over. Right. You gotta ding every curse word. <laughs> yeah, we ding. Or we use, what do you use? Like birds or something chirping? All right. Oh, the duck? Yeah, oh, the duck. That's <laughs> it. Quack, quack. Let me know when we are good to go, Gabri. You're rolling. We're rolling. <clears throat> Yo! What's up, guys? Chris Tutella here. Once again, over there, alongside my good friend, colleague, and co-host, Ruben Borges. That, that he forgot his name for a minute. Kind of went blank. And, and we have a special guest on the show today. John Manzo. Johnny Manzo, also known as Johnny Manzel. John, welcome to the show, my man. What's up? Thanks for having me. You're welcome. This is episode 26 yes. of TTS Talk. Wow. Yeah, so it's been 26 weeks of this 26. shit already. That was my uh, number, freshman year in six college. Six-month anniversary. What? The what? Just six-month anniversary? Yeah, 26 weeks is six months. Yeah, 52. Ah, you yeah, all right? That was quick. Okay. Yeah, dude. I learned from you guys. There you go. <laughs> that's, that's the meathead math. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, six months. Wow. Uh, what did I do? Six months. Six months. Six months. <laughs> I brought flowers for you guys or something. Ruben thought you were sentencing him to another six months in prison. <laughs> he looked he was very scared. Very <laughs> scared. <laughs> ah, shit. So, John, you, uh, you've been training here for about how long now, man? Uh, about a year and a half. Just about a year and a half. About a year and a half. Now, he's yeah. the savvy veteran yeah. here at, at TTS, man. Oh, yeah, I love it. John's one of those guys. He uh, takes control of the mm-hmm. session. He helps, he helps out the new guys and, and does uh, an awesome job with that. And just what I want to talk to you about today a little bit, man, is, you know, talk about what, it's, what it was like before you started training here. Like, how were you feeling? Let's start with that. Were you, were you exercising on your own? Were you doing any type of training? Uh, what were your joints like? Just the whole, uh, the whole spiel. Were there. you as active or? Right? I was back from horrible. This? So, as you guys know, I've been in the restaurant business basically all my life, which yeah. takes up all your time. Yeah. Sometimes seven days a week. I mean, you were telling me stories. I was like, wow. You know, 80, 90 hours a week, and it was crazy. So I never worked out, and my nutrition was. Everyone thinks, oh, you're a chef. You probably ate great. No, we eat the worst. Mm. Yeah. So. Basically, my nutrition was after like a 14, 16 hour day, I'd go to 7-Eleven, I'd get two red Powerades, I'd get two bags, not the little ones, big ones of Doritos. Holy shit. And maybe a bagel and cream cheese. Get out of here. Yeah. And then I, and orange cupcakes. That was my Oh thing. my God. Orange. <laughs> Oh, you, you I'm telling real you. Specific. No, no, no. Yeah. You guys shared the same diet yeah. like, back in like 2004. That, that was, was my Sunday morning. morning. Yeah. That was short. <laughs> and, and then I would go home and I would lay on the couch and I would eat all that, smoke cigarettes. I never even went to my bed. Oh, And shit. I just stayed on the couch and watched TV all day. That was my life. Oh, and my God. For how long? To work. I don't know. When I got to that stage, yeah. it probably went on for a good five years. Wow. Oh, man. But my nutrition, I never had any nutrition. I just, sometimes I didn't eat for days because I was so busy, I just forget to eat. Right. You know, I, I just, it was, and, and I didn't eat well. Right. I never ate fish. Okay. How long would you say when you started applying that nutrition to where, like, it was like, wow, what a, I feel this huge change. So it started because of my girlfriend. So mm-hmm. she was always healthy. She was always active, okay. runner. So um, what happened was I... To back up a little bit, I ended up getting sick. Mm-hmm. I was working so much, I had a slight cold, ended up turning into double lung pneumonia. Oh, shit. I almost died. Good Lord. I called 911 on myself. Wow. <laughs> it was crazy. Wow. You know, I was hallucinating, over 103 fever. Maybe lack of sleep, too? Uh, it, it was just everything. My whole lifestyle it was, your was just, it was yeah, just yeah, horrible. Yeah. I was 150 pounds. It was just not in okay. good shape. And I'm, I was in my, at that point, I was in my early 40s. Mm-hmm. So after that, that's when the light switch was like, all right, I got I to gotta switch stuff up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I started putting things in place. It didn't happen overnight because of my work, my career, things like that. So fast forward, I eventually got out of the restaurant business. Well, and, uh, you know, still in the food industry, but out of the restaurants with all that grind mm-hmm. and stuff like that. St- started eating a little bit better, actually started meal prepping for my girlfriend and some other friends, which I started doing the same. And it took me a while to get used to it. I hated it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, this is horrible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, you know, I just want garbage. That's yeah. what my body was used to. 
But then I say it took after like 30 to 60 days, it started to become repetition and that started kicking in. And that's when I was like, all right, now I'm, I'm like, I'm more lively. I started exercising with, uh, with the gym, uh, in the town next door to me, which was a little bit like cardio stuff. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I liked it, but I wanted to get stronger. Sure. Mm -hmm. And that's when I started searching around and someone <coughs> had mentioned you. I think you probably remember. I just drove by. I didn't know how anything worked. I just you drove by. You walked in one day, right? I just walked in what, and was you were working sister? out. It was my sister-in-law. Yeah, your sister-in-law. Right, right, right. Okay. So I just walked in, talked to you, boom, 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 and now here I am. That's and right. Was, I was training, I think, that day. Yeah. Right? You walked in. Well, I was, yeah, 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 yeah. You were just checking because I didn't know if it was like open all the time. I was like, mm -hmm. ah, let me take a ride over there. And I did, and that was it. That was like the life-changing moment. I mean, I... I did uh, the program with you. I was able to gain, I put on uh, just about 30 pounds. Holy shit, you put on that much since yeah. you training? I had dropped since then because yeah. I just, I wasn't happy. I didn't, I wanted to be 180. Yeah. And I got just about there right before I did the, the Spartan. Sure. That was another thing yeah, yeah, that you yeah, guys yeah. helped me train to do right, the Spartan right. race. And um, so I wasn't happy with that 180 because I, I don't know, maybe it was, just too much. So I dropped down oh, right oh, now. Got too much body fat on you. Uh, right now, uh, a little bit. Like at 180, like at 180, you felt like you were a little too thick. Like you wanted to come down. A yeah, bit, I just I, I felt bloated. Yeah, it, it just didn't seem like me. Maybe because I was so used to just being so thin. Yeah. So then I pounds. Oh shit! I'm still. I, I'm, my, <laughs> yeah. Well, it was 28 to be exact. Sorry, well, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> if I can put on 28 pounds of muscle at this point. <laughs> But well, I was, was constantly see every week. I think he thought, like, jeez, ah, dope. What the hell? Yeah. His, 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 shirt, his shirt sleeves started getting a little shorter. And he goes, here, <laughs> they're going here. They work their way out. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And when exactly. it yeah. to yeah. Went, I was like, I can, yeah. I can show it a little like bit a, more. like a little upper body that got right here. I was like, yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping I'll soon have one of those strings. At, at, yeah, at the, at the halfway point, he came in like, like with the Jesse Kasopoulos white t-shirt yeah. that was kind of rolled up a little bit. <laughs> We you just see like the bottom of his deltoid? <laughs> I was like, whoa! Oh, yeah, shit, man. Yeah. 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 But dude, that, that is amazing. So yeah. go ahead, with, with continue. Like, mm -hmm. So you, you gained 30 pounds and you want to tighten up and then you, you, you were training for a Spartan race. Right. So you came to us and you're like, what do I got to do to train for the Spartan race? Um, so we, we helped you out in that sense. Now, that was how long ago? The Spartan was just uh, about a year ago. It was about a year ago, yeah. okay. And then during the Spartan race, we jacked up your shoulder a little bit, yeah, right? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Okay. Sorry, a little little bit. right? Okay, so what, what happened with, with your shoulder? Um, well, eventually, because doctors suck, because <laughs> um, they just said, oh, you have to rest, you have to stop, you have to do this, you have to do this before we do anything. And I'm like, I know something is wrong. Right. Like, I can't lift my arm out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So finally they said, okay, we'll get you the MRI. They didn't want to give me an MRI because insurance companies. Right. So they did say yes. I had a slight tear. Okay. So where that's tear? where the rotator cuff was. It? Yes, rotator cuff. Okay. So you that's know, when you I don't know what part of the rotator cuff. No. I don't okay. Remember. So that's when I called you and I'm like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta stop this and that, and we talked for a while and. Like I told you, I was like, I don't want to do surgery. I do surgery, you know, my business has to shut down. I don't have anybody to run my business for right. two months. Mm -hmm. So uh, we talked for a while and we said, hey, work around it, all that stuff that we, that we spoke about. And I was mm -hmm. like, you know what? You said, trust me, and I 100% did. I trust all mm -hmm. you guys. And it was great. And I was able to work around it, modify, mm -hmm. strengthen up everything around it. And I did drop weight a little sure. bit more. Obviously, because I didn't keep up, I didn't want to keep my nutrition the way that it was because I was doing a lot of carbs to keep the weight on. Right. Um, and I knew what would happen because mm -hmm. I wasn't working out as hard. Right. Uh, so I did drop a little bit. So I'm, I'm down to about uh, 168 right now, which is, I feel I feel good, but yeah. I'm ready to start. I want to go back up a little bit more. Okay. Um, and yeah, just uh, working you know, lightweight, doing some modification, things like that. It took some time, and I think it was, I think it was about six months mm -hmm. into it. Ruben had asked me, he's like, how do you feel? I was like, I feel great. He's like, good. He goes, wait two more months. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling him about I just wanted to, you know, <laughs> I wanted advice. to get back with everybody else. It was like that whole yeah. hamstring thing where you, you pull your hamstring, right? You come back, you feel great, awesome. 
another week. Right. And you're like, right. well, yeah. no, I'm good now. Easy. That's the time where you want to get Yes, that right. was the crucial yeah. time. And I did. And I waited as much as like every day. I'm, I'm just like, I want to I wanna do more. I wanna One do thing more. you did so well, too, with the modifications you gave me, the variations, um, you wrote them all down. You were very organized with what you did it for, oh, yeah. what time, right. um, how was the rep tempo, all that. So every time you came, you knew exactly what, what you did, exactly what movement you did. And though it was a variation, it was a way to progressively overload the variation because sometimes like wow you do you do feel good let's go up a little bit and wait and maybe it was a 10 you were holding at yeah, the time it was, it was a lot. you were doing 15 but then we were slowing down the tempo so you know to you that's a great that job. was great, great organizing tempos. yeah and i remember we crushed that because we you want to make this get that better training effect and we know we couldn't load your shoulder joint as much but working the tempo you started seeing change i mean right you were definitely making some gains you know it's awesome. Yeah, it, felt, yeah. it felt great. It took time. I mean, you know, especially when you're when you're older like me. I'm gonna be 49 in a couple months. Oh, I don't shit. think anybody watching this believes that. So. <laughs> no way. They're like, Ruben's definitely and, older. And I yeah. never, I, I never, I, you know, I never. If they saw your fourth that. grade pictures, for oh, sure. No chance. <laughs> I think he had more facial hair though when he was. Um, but you know, it's your body is just different. You know? Right. So it's taking. It took me longer uh, to heal, but worth it a million, mm -hmm. a million, a million percent. That's awesome. You know, it's right. just definitely. That's definitely really, it's it. an awesome story because you, you get two types of people, right? Somebody who bangs their elbow and they're like, ah, I can't train anymore, I gotta quit, I gotta drop my membership, my elbow Don't. hurts. It's like, all right. Then you get the type of person like you who's like, look, I wanna keep going, right? But I, I need direction, right? right? Because you get some people who will just go, go, go and they'll work through the injury, mm -hmm. and I think one of the biggest things that you and I addressed when we, when we spoke and, and the rest of the coaches is that we need to work around the injury and not through it. So yeah, like you got a beat up shoulder. So the last thing we're going to tell you to do is start pressing heavy and, and overhead pressing and show, like stuff that's going to put more stress on a shoulder. We want to work around it, so we're going to do uh, certain exercises, maybe isolation work, um, just train in the way that where you feel good, you feel strong, and you don't feel like we're causing more pain or contributing to the problem. So that's for, for you guys at home, like understand that if you have an injury, you know, depending on the severity of it, of course, but if you have an injury, there's always a way to work around that injury. Absolutely. You don't necessarily want to work through that injury mm -hmm. because you don't want to make it worse. You don't want to contribute to the issue. But you, do, you don't want to just completely lose the muscle that you work so hard to gain. Um, even Josh is a great example, yeah. right? We had Josh on the show, yeah. that was months ago now, but he blew out his entire knee. He did not stop training. I mean, his training wasn't mm -hmm. exactly the way it was before right. his injury, but he still got to the gym and he yeah. maintained a decent it's amount a of upper yes. body muscle mass, right? <laughs> no, his, legs, job, yeah. his legs, of course, atrophied because he, he, had a, mm -hmm. he blew out his entire knee and there was you know, very there little you work. He could barely right. walk. Right, but he was able to work around it, man. And that's you know, kudos to you for doing yeah. that because you know a lot of people want to throw in the towel. They want an mm -hmm. easy excuse, but you didn't. You chose to continue to work, but you just worked around it. So yeah, great best, job on best, that. Best best decision. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Great. And, and to continue with that, like if some people right completely stop. They got Mandel. Like great job getting to it, but sometimes people want to really bash through that injury. Say I'm good. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Because sometimes, you know, we all have like that ego, like I'm good now, I feel it. And for you to be patient and understand, all right, let me give it a couple more weeks, you know, I do feel good, but you know, not sure if I'm ready yet to kind of handle that heavy load. And then when you knew the time was right, boom, we did it yeah. and we're good. So I, I see job some of the other guys that are in here, some of the newer ones that they're like, you know, they hurt themselves, just that the other thing, they still want to try and put mm -hmm. up that weight. And I step in and I tell them, I'm like, dude, don't. And, do hear inside, you like, and, I, and I try and tell them like yeah, what happened yeah. with me and stuff, and I say, don't worry about the weight right now. The weight's gonna come. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Worry about everything else yeah, first. Yeah. No, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. You really picked up on that leadership role now. A year and a half. Yeah, in, big time, man. Don't right? worry. Hey, I learned from you guys awesome. that you know, it's I, I don't mind pass passing it on. You know, yeah, you guys, you guys taught me. So if there's somebody else that uh, that you can help, you know, you might be working with somebody else, you know. You don't want them to get hurt. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, we so take pride nice. in that guy. Yeah, yeah. we always mean because always talked about like the guys here from coaching them up. They just become coaches themselves in, in a way, and they help out. So like, if I'm with someone, yeah, he just he's kind of repeating what I said to him, but to him and having someone else be more conscious. Like, you know, he's probably not going to want you to go to that weight. Uh, I'd listen to him real quick and yeah. wait for it because there's a reason behind everything. Oh, yeah. you know? and, and while we're on that topic, John, like, is that something that you could talk about? Like the the culture here. At TTS versus uh, the culture at the other gym you train at, or other gym, not to bash anywhere else, but like, what is the one thing you notice 
uh, about this place that you might not see elsewhere? Oh, the family. Yeah. You know, everyone is watching out for each other. Everyone is pushing each other. Everyone's taking care of each other. I mean, we see each other outside the gym now. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. You know, um, and that that culture of that family is great. And like I tell this to a lot a lot of people, I'm like, yeah, you could go to one of those big box gyms, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you're gonna get 12 reps here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you're only gonna get about six there because mm -hmm. you're doing it by yourself. Right, right here, you got at least a couple buddies with you Hello. that are helping push, you know, that are watching you, making sure you're doing things right. And that's it. I mean, I did, you know, I went to those those gyms as well, and you start out there for a little bit, and then, you know, you don't go. You're held accountable here, too. You know, your guys, I mean, there's times that, like, someone doesn't show up to, like, that class, like, when we're all together, you know, and they're, like, messaging, you know, hey, yeah, what happened? Go. Right, no, where you at? Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. Man. So yeah. you're being yeah. held accountable, too, because you want to be there with these guys, you know, doing stuff, and you're going to see... Number one, you got uh, you have so many people around you that are watching your forms, mm -hmm. so your form's going to be on point as well, and you're going you see the gains so much faster. Mm -hmm. It's awesome, a ton faster. It's There's so just awesome. there, and that's not gains here too. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, everything like in your head, in your heart, and in your body, it's right. all like the complete package. I mean, I, I would, I talk about you guys. It was like. I've I've shown you like some yeah. pictures of me like from oh, years ago. Awesome. Give like, me goosebumps yeah, here, man. It's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's uh, it's great. I I love it. I, I tell people about it. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you, man. You've become such a great sure. leader within here. When Mandela's here, you just see him. It's very your personality is very infectious. If you're here. It just it's. Not a coincidence, everyone's just around you, just happier, or just having a great session, and uh, they reach their potential by being with you just from the vibe that you give them, man. You give an awesome Thanks. vibe, you know? Right. Thanks. And that goes a long way. Yeah, well, that's yeah. part of the culture, mm -hmm. right? It's like you guys, when you were new, we expected for the veterans to do the same for and, you. And, and they did 100%. They did, and now, now you're in that role, and now new guys, and you're like, dude, I've been here a year and a half, like this is, you know, uh, adjust your technique like this. You're, you're mm -hmm. learning and applying these coaching yeah. cues. And that's part of why the culture is so good because you guys are so awesome at just like, all right, let me learn, let me be humble, let me help people because I know what it felt like to yeah. be new. Um, I was nervous maybe when I walked in here. It was a new world for me. But, um, you know, that, that's a great job, man, yeah. all, all around. And uh, just to backtrack a second because I want to go back to when you were in that dark place um, and now... You were, you were smoking cigarettes, you're eating Cheetos and Doritos and cupcakes and, and, and uh, um, cupcakes. right? Orange Orange cupcakes. Cupcakes. <laughs> right? Like, what was that that moment like? Well, first of all, what happened when you, you called 911? What happened with the double pneumonia? All right, well, the uh, paramedics came, they took me to the hospital, and that's when I found out, you know, what was wrong. Yeah. They told me to, uh, that I had to rest. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. The, the girl I was go dating at the time literally had to hide my keys because I wanted to go back to work. Okay. Because I just, you can't rest in my business. Mm -hmm. Right. Anyway, I did, I did rest, but like I said, that's when the light switch went on and I was like, all right, I got to start, you know, making some changes here. And like I said, it didn't happen overnight. You know, right. I had to start with baby steps. You know, mm -hmm. I stopped smoking, you know, so I did that. How, how was that? Like, what, what did you do in order to stop for the guys and girls who may be struggling with that? Honestly? And how much were you smoking? I was smoking at least a pack a day. Okay. And cold turkey was the only thing that helped. Just stopped. I just stopped. I had toothpicks. I did do lollipops. Okay. okay. Just to just to put <laughs> just to get yeah, just yeah. to get rid of that. So the toothpick toothpicks and the lollipops, that helped. Okay. But it it came down to you got to you have to control and you got to eat it. Yeah. But don't get me wrong. I was an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> For at least a couple weeks, I yeah. was I was miserable. Sure, but you just have to you have to look at the big picture, and you just have to know. Listen, I don't want to die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, yeah, and that's a, that changes your mind a little bit because I tried, I tried quit many times. Mm -hmm. Right, you know, I tried different ways of doing it and stuff like that. And for me, there wasn't that magic pill. It was you just you you had to get your mind set on what you want. Right, and you have to go for it. And I stopped with the smoking. Then eventually, you know, the people in my life helped as well. Like the girl that I was that I was dating, she was healthier. Mm -hmm. You know, she ran. You know, and that Rubbed we off started to share that. Mm -hmm. You know, and then I was cooking for her and cooking for my friends, and then I started doing it. Mm -hmm. 
you know, and then this getting back into an actual ex you know real right. exercise program. So it took time, but it was probably probably a couple of years. Okay, two to, two to three years. Yeah, it took some time. Was was the whole? But it's it's such an awesome point that you made, and that it was it was a decision, right? It started with that fucking decision, right? Because you know you see the same thing with nutrition with training, like. People are looking for, ah, oh, maybe this place could help me. Nah, this place is not good. Let me, let me maybe this place, or, or maybe this program, or maybe this diet. Maybe I should try keto. And they're so all over the place, but they don't make that decision to like, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care what I got to do. I'm just going to decide. I'm going to stick to this, yeah, and it. I'm going to do it. And you fucking own it, right? Mm -hmm. And that was, to me, like from what you're saying, like just making that choice, like you just stopped cold turkey. Like it wasn't like, ah, maybe I should try this pill. Ah, maybe I'll try the patch. Maybe I'll try the gum. It was, it was you know what? I'm fucking done. And now let me move on. Let me move forward. So uh, that's a, a huge takeaway that I want everybody yeah. to understand. Is like in anything in life, you want to start a business, you want to fucking get fit, you want to change your diet, whatever it is, you want to quit smoking. You, it starts with that choice. And mm -hmm. once you make up that, once you make up your mind, once you make that choice, there's no turning back. There's no yeah. indecisiveness. There mm -hmm. can't be. Yeah. It's got to be boom. This is my choice. Now I'm going. Now stop fucking backtracking. Stop. You got to change your patterns. Change your daily actions. I talk about this all the time, right? You got to change your daily habits, your daily actions. That's going to dictate the outcome mm -hmm. of your life, right? 100%. So, awesome. so you hit a breaking point, hit your breaking point, then you made your choice. And like when you say, you just, you know, baby steps, right? You stopped smoking and you did this. Right. You just, but what everything you kept doing, kept going forward, kept going forward. And I'm not sure exactly where I heard this from, but they were saying even on your process of going forward, you might fall, just make sure you fall forward. Boom, get right back mm -hmm. up and continue. Learn something. Like you were taking pride with those small steps, but you kept going in that same direction. Right? You have to. So I, I teach job. it to, to my clients as well that are like, hey, listen, you know, I want to start eating healthy. You know, what should I do? And I, I, I go along the same lines as like of your programs. And I, just, I you know, I tell, tell people what to cut out of their diet. Sure. But then I also tell them, I said, listen, don't do it all at once. Mm -hmm. If you get too drastic, you're, you're going to be miserable and, and you may just stop. Every yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, pick something, go with it. Right. And then add on, and then add on. Before you know it, everything is second nature. Right. And I'm, I look at orange cupcakes on sale now. I see them on sale. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Ah, I'm like, boom. Go <laughs> back to <laughs> there. You would have bought twice as many. <laughs> it's on sale. Of course. Right. Yeah, yeah, I but what now, you know, don't even, don't even look back. I'm like, I I work way too hard for you to yep. to beat to beat this out of me. That's not so gonna awesome, happen. man. Not gonna happen. Do you see that? And that's the, the point. Right. Like, it's, a, it's about uh, 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 making these constant progressions. Mm -hmm. It's not overnight, and you shouldn't try to do it all by tomorrow, but you start to make these changes. You start to be aware, consciously aware, right? Like, really like, all right, I had a fucking cupcake yesterday. Let me not have one today. Like, mm -hmm. making that one choice, yep. then another choice, then another choice. And that accumulates over time, and all of a sudden, you're just a different creature. Now, you're not even, you can't even... Um, relate to that person you once were and all of us I think have yeah. been there in our own lives right like I've talked about it all the time like I was drinking a lot staying mm -hmm. up till 5 in the morning I had no direction until I chose Rube same thing yeah. like in his career too like he chose I want to be a mm -hmm. fucking great strength conditioning coach he made that choice now he's here there's no if ands or buts there's no confusion That's right. you made that choice I'm not fucking eating cupcakes anymore I'm not, <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing this shit anymore so I don't want to live that way anymore right. and I think it's, I, I hate when I see so many people still living that way. They want to change, they want to change, but they don't. They want to change, they want to change, they talk about it, but they don't. So if you're struggling, that's Because it's key. not easy. Right, it's not no. easy. It's not going to be not. easy. And right. I tell people that all the time. I'm like, right. this ain't easy. They're yeah. like, I want to look like you. I'm like, <laughs> look like you. Right. You know, just the best version look. of you. Yeah. Right? And, right. I, and I love that quote because some people want to hear, like, all right, tell me in two sentences, what do I do? Yeah, you know, it's not that it's simple. Not easy. Right? It takes it's, a little um, bit of time. It's like I've been training for the done. last fifteen years. I've been dieting yeah. for the last fifteen years. That's Ups how that's, that's, that's uh, what happened. I'm know? not done. I'm never gonna right. be done. Yeah, right. 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 I thought it is being consistent and you know, hit your breaking point, make a choice, and own it. Right now, John, something else that came out of this for you is uh, as a career change, right? Like yeah. you, you were working like crazy. You were working as a chef. What kind of restaurants were you working in? So in I day? was working a lot, of, a lot of different restaurants, but. Closer to the end of my career, I was actually designing and opening restaurants. Okay. Which was even more <clears throat> hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, because there's, there's, there's so much more time there. And then when you open up, you're opening up with a bunch of guys that have never worked with you before. Right. And it's new and everybody wants to check out the new place. So now I'm talking, now I'm working eight days a week. Right. You know, a hundred hours a week. 
it was it was it was just crazy. Um, but like I said, I needed to change my lifestyle. I got out of the business. I actually went to right when I had started here. I did what like corporate stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was Monday through Friday. I was home by like three o'clock. I was like, that's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't cooking. Mm -hmm. So now I'm like, all right, now this is like taking a part of my soul. I was uh, like, I need to cook. I could relate that passion there. I need yeah. to cook. Yeah. Like, okay, the schedule is great, but I'm like, I'm dying I'm inside. I'm doing what I love, right? Yeah. So eventually, like I said, I started like kind of cooking for my girlfriend and her friend and a buddy of mine. And I'm like, let me look into this a little bit more. Right. You know, I know how to cook. Now I just have to learn balance, you know, and, mm -hmm. and nutrition. So that's what I started doing. So I started messing around with that, got a couple more clients, a couple more clients until I was busy enough around Thanksgiving of last year. And I started my own business. Wow. And yeah. that's, that's, that's amazing. Awesome. And, yeah. and, it's, and it's great because it's, it's, I love cooking. Mm -hmm. And then I love when people like send me messages and they're like, you know, this is, this is great, you know, that they're losing weight, they feel better, right. you know, inflammation. I talked to them about that because I'm, I mean, I'm totally <laughs> we, We've worked I've together was. a lot about yeah, that. That's a whole other a thing. I'm, I'm like, we, we, we would need like 26, 27, <laughs> and 28 yeah. to, cover to all talk the, about yeah, what's broken issues. on me. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you know, so that was a huge part for me. So I put that into, you know, my business plan as well. Right. You know, like talking to people about it. And now I love cooking. I have my own business. Mm -hmm. I feel great. And I'm, you're helping I'm people. like... And yeah, and I love helping people. Right. And well, let's talk about that. So, like, what does your actual business entail? Like, what tell, tell everybody at home, like, what it is that you do? All right. So it's a uh, you know, there's a lot, a lot of places are popping up now. It's a weekly meal delivery program. Okay. So like a meal prep service. A meal prep service. Yes. Um, you know that I go along the lines of you know gluten free, mm -hmm. dairy free, no preservatives. Um, no white sugar okay. you know? and mm -hmm. what I like to do because I'm a trained chef is I like to take some people they just think meal prep that it's just gonna be you know chicken Boil and broccoli, chicken and broccoli. Yeah, right, right, like, right. so since I'm I was trained I want to take those comfort foods and those healthy foods and I want to kick them up so instead of saying I just have to shovel all this bland chicken into my face you know I, I want to you know, get some, some spices, get some mm. flavor to it. So like you're at least enjoying it, you know, and you could say, oh, it's, it's just as good as an orange cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. You trick yourself a little bit, right? Yeah, so, uh, so that's what I did. Like, um, you, you know, and always trying to do new things. Yeah. You know, and I'm always trying to create, which I, I test on. Yeah, you made dining fun. I mean, I've had some of your meals, it's delicious. Yeah, uh, and, and that's, amazing that's meals, the by the way. And yeah. I'm not just saying that, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, John was here for the grand reopening, yeah. and you made your uh, your protein, protein donuts, donuts, and I was crushing those yeah. bad boys. Um, what else did you have that day? It was just the donuts and coffee, right? Uh, just the donuts. But, and but you coffee, brought you yeah. brought other treats here I that I've had a month. Yeah, this, this is this is yeah. as I use like a testing kitchen, you know, yeah, 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 some yeah. stuff. I drop stuff off for for Josh. I'll you know yep. send him some stuff. Yeah, you know. Sometimes you guys I'm trying like to sneak it in and other people are like, oh no, man, it's only gave me one. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's like, Ruben, get your nose out of there. Man. <laughs> yeah, but it's, you know, so it's um, it's doing great. And you know, I got a, a lot of guys from here, and like we were talking about, you know, helping, you know, the guys that with their nutrition, I can work with them yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. And because helping people is great. Right. You mm -hmm. know, and getting that feedback of somebody just being like, yeah, you're. You're Especially like, when you, you can do it in your passion, it. like this is your passion, yes. your pride, yes. and by you loving this and you're helping people along the way, that's like you know, perfect storm. Yeah, it is. I'm not yeah. just I'm not just going to the it's office awesome. and going through the yeah. uh, going through the motions. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm there and I'm like, all right, I what am I going to do to help There's people? There's a lot of people that, that think like you. This is awesome. There's a lot of people that think like you. Where they're at that point where you're, oh, three o'clock, I'm good. I can just do this, and it becomes a dead end job, and they're there forever. Yeah. Um, that point, something like nah, not for me. Not for me. Yeah, and then I was there too, <laughs> driving a truck, pulling spring. I'm there. I'm stop number fifty nine. I'm like, yeah, this is just something else. <laughs> I just can't do this. But that's the whole point. You got to make that choice, and that's right. what it takes. Yeah. And, well, it's funny too because like you brought that up and. Like, I, as I was telling Rube yeah. earlier, uh, before we started recording, he's like, you know, I've been doing so much of the business stuff that I, I had like an epiphany last night where I woke up in the middle of the night, I'm like, shit, like, here's all the stuff that I'm doing, and I only love like two things, right? And because I, I've worked so hard to build this business, which I love, and I wouldn't trade it for the world, 
but now I'm, I'm not here coaching as much as I used to be. And that's the one thing that I love so much is coaching. And I'm like, fuck, I feel disconnected. I miss it. Mm -hmm. I, um, the, the plan um, in the next couple of months is, you know, I, I can't do all the sessions anymore. Like that wouldn't be possible. The business stuff wouldn't get done. Like I do have to do it, but I need to address that shit more and, and be able to, you know, these guys know I tell them all the time. Like we have all our stuff. I'm like, dude, I just... I, like this is what I love doing and I'm not doing as much as it, as I used to be but you know I do have the game changer and stuff and the higher level coaching programs that I do like one on one like the online nutrition stuff and all that stuff so I do have it but um, you know there's nothing like being here with you uh, stick animals <laughs> yeah, throwing, yeah. throwing some weight around right. so um, but it's, it's, it's great that you mentioned that but um, so where if, if somebody at home wants to work with you where could they find you like what, what is the, what's the process like if they want to get a meal from you to try it or work with you how, how does it work it's easiest way to reach you yeah it's it's pretty simple you just go to uh, my website which is uh, bmgmeals.com and over there i put up a new menu every week some stuff is repetitive like i have the basics what i call my basics mm -hmm. which is like your grilled chicken with vegetables and brown rice mm -hmm. piece of salmon you know, but other than that, everything else changes. Breakfast, snacks, lunch, salads, a lot of different things. So you can go on there, and that's where you get you do all your ordering uh, from. But the information is on there too. So if you need to reach out to me directly, which I actually prefer, mm -hmm. I actually like to talk to a new client first to see what they're looking for. Sure, because mm -hmm. some people are just like. You know, it's just me. I don't want to cook. Right. Or it could be a bodybuilder who wants to get shredded to yeah. the bone. You accommodate them too, right? Right. Or do like you... some stuff, like I'll talk to them about, you know, don't have, you know, this dish may come with uh, sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. but yeah. don't have that for dinner. Right. So mm -hmm. tell me you want what you're going to be doing and I'll say, okay, well, you should have, I'll give you two portions of broccoli. Right. No sweet potatoes as your last meal. Right. Do your sweet potatoes or your brown rice, whatever, earlier in the day, right? And then you could just burn them off, depending right. on what they want, yeah. right? You know, if you're going to be, you know, it, everyone's different, right? So I just like to talk to everybody first, and then say, okay, this is what you're looking to do, and then we could design something around that, right? For the people, right? That's awesome, and the food is absolutely incredible. So oh, thank if you guys, guys want to try it out? Yeah, absolutely, give it a shot. Um, Instagram, Facebook, is that a good way for them to find you too, or you just want to go through the yeah, website? Yeah, uh, it's uh, Be My Guest, Personal Chef. Instagram is Be My Guest PCS. So Instagram is uh, be, be My Guest PCS. PCS. Okay. At Be My Guest PCS on Instagram. Yeah. yeah. I'm still learning about the social media. <laughs> <laughs> I had someone oh, he's he's going to be 49. He's going to be 49 next month. It's a different, it's a different generation. We'll exactly. Have a I don't have computers. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, do you have anything for uh, John before we uh, wrap the show? I'm very proud of you, uh, how far you've grown. You've become such a great leader here and such a great inspiring story. I hope you guys take so much out of that. And I think the biggest takeaway is that you made a choice, you stuck with it, and you did it. Hell yeah. Awesome fucking job. Thank you. I'm very proud guys, of you. Guys, super proud of you, man, as yeah. well. Like, really, you've come such a long way, dude. And uh, it's, Thank you. I'm, I'm honored to be able, have the opportunity to work yeah. with you and seeing you grow, not only in the gym, but as a man, as a human yeah. being, and just getting stronger mentally, all this stuff. Like you said, the guy that you were, was it 10 years ago or even less, a little less than that? Yeah, yeah. yeah, like you wouldn't even recognize that guy anymore. Mm -hmm. So, congratulations to you, man, because that takes a lot of work. That takes that making that choice and then oh, putting yeah. in the work, right? Like, yeah. you can't forget about the work. So, I'm not done yet. Yeah, and you're not done yet. Yeah. You're not done yet. Let's do this. <laughs> Super proud of you, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm awesome. pumped for you, too. And I'm really excited to see your success in the next five years, right? Mm -hmm. Because Hell yeah. uh, this is, uh, we're all constantly growing. Just the here, beginning. So, yeah, it's just the beginning. <laughs> but, guys, Thank you so much for tuning into today's show. Uh, as always, if you need to reach me with any questions, uh, you can hit me up on Instagram at Chris underscore Tutela, T U T E L A. Coach, where can these guys find you? Guys, you can reach me on Instagram at underscore Ruben, R U B E N underscore Borges, B O R G E S. Feed me any questions. Feed him. He's Feed hungry. Him. I am a little bit. Yeah. All, 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 all this, all this food talk. Hey, this guy's gonna go get orange fucking cupcakes now. <laughs> I'm gonna see what orange shit on his nose. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Um, I think that's all for today. We will catch you next week on another episode of TTS Talk. We'll catch you later. Peace.